Today, we're simulating a hybrid lay the point strategy. I delivered a custom analysis on the strategy for twin power crafts, and they wanted me to share it with all of you. Since it's a custom simulation, they were able to specify the stopping conditions, the bet progressions, and get a level of detail that I don't normally include in my YouTube videos. So today we have a twist. We won't stop until we either win 30% or lose our entire bankroll. But before we see the results, let's examine the strategy. If the point is a 4 or 10, we'll lay $150 on the point. If the point is a 5 or 9, we lay $120. And if the point is a 6 or 8, we lay 90. We're also going to place the non-point numbers. We'll collect the first win on any of the place bets, and then we'll press and collect each number until the 7 out. Here's a replay of one of the sessions so you can see how it works. First thing we do is wait for a point to be established, and today that point is going to be a 10. We lay $150 on the 10 and place all the other numbers. We win on the 6, we're going to collect that first win. Six hits again, that's the second hit on the six, so this time we're gonna press it to $30. That's the first time the eight hits, that's gonna pay 21. And we have a hit on the five, also paying 21. Another hit on the six, this is going to be a collect. And there's our second hit on the eight. We win 21, this time we're gonna press it by $12, also up to 30. $30. 30 on the eight is gonna win 35. We'll just collect that. And there's our first seven out. So we lose all the place numbers. We win $71 on the lay bet on the 10. And we're looking for the new shooter to set a point. Couple come out rolls. New point is going to be four. And we're going to lay $150 on the four, place the other numbers. There's our hit on the six, $21. Hit on the five also wins $21. And there's our seven out. So we're going to lose all those place bets, win $71 on that lay bet on the four. And let's see how we do for a new shooter. This time the points of five, so we'll lay $120. Hit on the nine, we're going to pocket 21. There's a hit on the 10, that's going to pay 27. And the shooter hit the 5, so we lose that $120. We're going to take down our place bets and wait for a new point, which is also going to be a 5. $120 lay bet goes back up on the 5. And very quick seven out. Win $76 on that lay bet. Notice our bankroll is up $96 now. 
And we have yet another five. With a very quick seven out. Lost $5 on that shooter, but we are up $91 still. This time the point's an 8, so we're going to lay $90 this time. First hit on the 4, wins 27 that we pocket. The 3 does not affect us. And there's our 7 out. So we lose those place bets, win $71 on the lay bet. And I think that's enough for the demo right now. Let's uh, go in and start simulating. Okay, like I said, that's just one single session. Now let's run 100,000 sessions. Each session will stop when they've won at least $360 or exhausted their bankroll of about $1,200. The table minimum is $15 today. Let's check our rolls and make sure they're fair. The simulation rolled a massive 43.2 million times. In gray, we have the theoretical distribution, and the throws we actually observed are in blue. The two distributions line up nicely, and that's our indication that the results will reflect what could happen in a real game. On a per-shooter basis, how often did the players win any amount of money? 48.4% won money, 51.5% lost money, and just one-tenth of a percent broke even. Notice that we had over 5 million shooters in the simulation this time. These shooters held the dice for a median of 6 rolls. 50% of them held the dice for between 4 and 11 rolls. And the maximum we saw in this simulation is a very long 122 rolls for a single shooter. And you can certainly see that that's not typical. 95% of the shooters sevened out before their 22nd roll. Now let's see how much they won or lost on a per shooter basis. The median is just $5 lost, and the average is not very far off from that. The middle 50% is just $47 lost to $41 won. That's a small range, especially if you compare to the bets the players have on the table, which is anywhere from $168 to over $230. That's the effect of the lay bet offsetting the losses of the place bets on a 7-out. Notice that the most lost is $1,100, and the most won is just over $2,100. Next, we'll go beyond a single shooter and see whether the simulated players beat the casino over their entire session. This is the histogram of the number of rolls per session. Now remember, we're playing until we either lost our entire bankroll or won $360. The shortest session lasted just 17 rolls, while the longest was nearly 4,000 rolls. This is how long those sessions might last at a live table. Assuming 100 rolls per hour for an empty table, 80 rolls per hour for a half full table, and 60 rolls for a completely full table. These short rolls, where they lasted 10 minutes or maybe up to an hour, those are the sessions where a hot shooter helped the player hit that win goal of 30% right off the bat, and then they walked away. Look at the longest session. That's almost two to three days of play. Could you last that long at the table? Let me know in the comments. And now for the moment of truth. How often did our simulated players win or lose money? Almost 44% of the 100,000 sessions won money, while just over 56% lost money. There were no pushes, 
which makes sense because they would have kept playing until they hit the stopping conditions. When we look at the amount won or lost over a session, you can really see the effect of the stopping conditions. There's a group that lost right around $1,200. That's the 56.1% we saw on the previous screen. And the other cluster is just above that $360 win condition. There are some rare but nice wins, which went all the way to $1,800. The middle 50 and 90% stretch over the two groups and don't add a whole lot of information. Notice the difference between the median and average though, they're definitely being pulled in opposite directions. Even though these players sometimes win and sometimes lose, the bets they make have a small disadvantage for the player. That ensures that over many games, the casino makes money. Let's look at this from the casino's viewpoint. The total bet was $1.7 billion. The players won over $771 million, and the casino won almost $818 million. The difference between that is a $46.3 million house take, and that leads to an overall house advantage of 2.723%. Here's how that number compares to some of the other bets on the craps table. A lot of you have asked me to add stopping conditions to the simulations, and I'd like to hear what you think. Leave me a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, and good luck at the tables.